All right, everybody, welcome back. We got question and answers today. We're gonna do that 911 style. All right, yesterday was Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to everybody who out there is a father. Here we go. What is your favorite food? My favorite food right now is black rice. It's black wild rice with black beans, the way my wife makes it. Absolutely my favorite food right now. What would you call a perfect day? A perfect day for me is the wife, the kids, in a beach house with one of those beautiful pools overlooking the ocean and then going back and forth between the ocean and the pool. That's nice. What was your first job and age? That's a toss up. Either I was a gymnastics coach at an elementary school there or I was the security at a drive-in theater. One of those two jobs was my first, kind of hard to remember which one I got first. Name two things you absolutely have to do every day. That's easy for me. One is pray, second one is stretch. Those two things are an absolute must. A hidden talent. A hidden talent, I would have to say my hidden talent is photography. Most people don't know I was a wedding photographer. You can go online and see that, so most people are surprised at that, especially wedding photography. Are you a vegan? No, I am not a vegan. Right now I'm about 90% plant-based, that means Two meals on average a week have some sort of meat, usually no more than six ounces at a time, and no more than usually 12 ounces for the week, all right, of good meat, all right, not the deli slices, not bacon, I'm talking about good old, you know, New York strip steak or some bison or lamb. Uh, fish I'm kind of out of only because of the mercury, and chicken is a secondary type meat, still okay. I prefer the, the beef on that side. Uh, so not a vegan. Uh, name an old profession you love. Would have to be either the gymnastics coach or I was a manager at a toy store and it was just awesome being able to help out the kids and, and just be involved in those toys. I just I found that fun. And I loved coaching gymnastics also. Best thing about being a police officer and a firefighter. Well, I just love those jobs because you're able to come in at a time where people are at their wits end and they need someone to come in and help them out. And it's always awesome to be able to do that. What's the best thing about being a dad? Just all the love. Those little monkeys, you gotta love them. Even when they grow up. Is the 911 eating strategy sustainable long-term? The answer is yes, because all you're doing is concentrating your efforts into eating real food. That's it. You don't have to be picky about which real food. You just want a, a large variety of real food, 80% of that would be real food. The other 20% would be in these food products. You wanna keep that no more than 20%. If you could keep it less, even better. And then you're trying to stay at least 80% plant-based. That means four of your meals can have meat, up to about 24 ounces, what we recommend, or what I recommend, and then the rest are plants. So it's, it's very easy. It's a simple concept. It's not complicated at all. And you don't have to, oh, I can eat this, I can't eat that. As long as it's a real food, it's not a food product, you're in the safe zone and that's what you're looking for. Why is there so little working out in your program? The reason why there's so little working out in my program is because you're just trying to get the baseline, all right? You're not looking to be an athlete. You're not looking to be a sports athlete. You're not looking to excel in one particular area. What you're looking to do is be able to function in your everyday. That means pick up your children, your grandchildren. You're able to pick up somewhat heavy objects like a ladder and put it outside if you need to get up on the roof, if you need to move the vacuum cleaner from here to there. Those are just non-thinking items that you'd be able to pick up and move around and you want to be able to do that the rest of your life. So the amount of strength that you need to have is not that much. There are other areas that fall apart and those are the areas you got to concentrate on and maintain and, and those will keep you busy enough. All right? Don't you feel you look too skinny? Love that question. Yes, I would say that I'm not used to being this skinny, but if the goal was to get to the best shape I am in my life, or the best shape that I've ever been, you would have to look back in your life and say that the ages between 12 and 20 were probably the ages in which you were your best, in your best shape. And if you look back at those pictures, you will see that thin is in. You don't see yourself big and bulky with a big waist, typically. I know we've got a lot today of young people who are overweight, that's a different issue. All right. But when you're looking back at yourself and usually analyzing what's the best weight that you've ever been in, usually it's in your younger years and you were skinny. 
And what's the best way to get started? Well, best way to get started, I'm gonna give you three easy steps. Drink water almost all the time. I'm not talking about if you want a beer or a glass of wine or some real tea like chamomile tea or something like that. You're just drinking water other than some examples that I just gave you, all right? Number two, you're not eating any fast food. You're cutting out your fast food, all right? And number three is don't buy what you don't wanna eat. Those are three easy ways to get started. Water, no fast food, and then don't buy what you don't wanna eat. If you got any other ideas, write them in the comments below. Give me your best way to get started to a health and fitness way of lifestyle. And until the next one, stay safe, stay healthy. Bueno guys, uh, thank you for tuning in. If you're walking this journey with me, welcome. And I promise you, you're gonna get healthier and fit. And uh, you won't even know how it happened almost. All right, maybe you will. But uh, definitely, the ride is gonna be awesome. You guys are gonna love it. I promise you, if you wanna be healthy and you wanna be fit, stay in this channel. There's other people who are gonna give you great advice as well. Just keep your ears and your eyes open and uh, you'll get there.